If you've been scrolling through the Netflix library and having difficulty finding something new to watch, we've got you covered. Going through the comments and prior videos on this channel, we've made note of the TV shows and movies flying under the radar that you all think deserve more attention. So in this video, we'll show you 10 hidden gems available on Netflix right now more people should be watching. Those included will be Netflix originals, along with others broadcast elsewhere prior to being available to stream on Netflix. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. First up is the historical spy thriller, Babylon Berlin. Perhaps one of the most recommended shows in our comments, this series is set in Berlin, Germany during the 1920s. It follows a police inspector who is transferred from Cologne to Berlin on a secret mission to dismantle an extortion ring. After arriving, he discovers a larger conspiracy when Soviet rebels hijack a train as part of a mission hatched by Trotsky supporters in the city. The visuals are stunning, with a storyline that will have you fully engaged through each episode. The first three seasons are available on Netflix right now, and you have time to get caught up with the fourth season expected to release sometime in 2022. Up next, Queen of the South is an action crime thriller that was first broadcast on the USA Network prior to being available on Netflix. It stars Alice Braga as Teresa Mendoza. Teresa is a poor Mexican woman who falls in love with a member of a drug cartel. Fearing for her life, she flees Mexico to the United States. After settling in Dallas, Texas, she plots revenge with someone from her past to take down the leader of the cartel that's after her. This gritty and violent series is well acted and features outstanding action scenes that are well choreographed. The first four seasons of Queen of the South are available now, with its fifth and final season expected on Netflix at a later date. Good Time is a crime thriller film deserving of more attention. It stars Robert Patterson of Twilight fame as a bank robber named Connie who stops at nothing to free his developmentally challenged younger brother Nick from prison. This sends Connie into a pulse-pounding journey into New York's dangerous and dark underworld full of sleazy characters while trying to avoid capture himself. Good Time is an edge-of-your-seat thrill ride with an unpredictable plot and performance by Patterson that's the finest of his career so far. Happy is another TV show recommended by viewers with a passionate fan base. Originally broadcast on the Sci-Fi Network for two seasons, this dark comedy action drama is based on the comic book series of the same name. It stars Christopher Maloney as disgraced police detective Nick Sachs. Nick is a social outcast with a drinking and substance abuse problem who moonlights as a hitman to feed his various habits. After Nick has an encounter with a blue-winged unicorn named Happy, voiced by Patton Oswalt, they go on a journey and contend with a laundry list of enemies, including angry mobsters, ex-mistresses, ex-wives, and one very bad Santa. Happy is quite bizarre, with great performances from both Maloney and Oswalt. If you want to binge-watch Happy, both seasons are available right now. The Serpent is one of the best shows to be released on the streaming service over the past year most people have never watched. Released in April of 2021, it's a co-production between Netflix and the BBC. Based on a true story, this limited eight-episode crime drama series follows French conman and serial killer Charles Sabrage during the 1970s. While using various aliases, Charles would drug and steal from backpackers traveling through Thailand, using their passports and identities to travel the world and sell stolen gems with his girlfriend. The series features excellent production values and strong performances from the entire cast. If you're a fan of the true crime genre, The Serpent should be on your watch list. Nocturnal Animals is a psychological thriller written and directed by Tom Ford. This film features an all-star cast, including Amy Adams, Jake Gyllenhaal, Michael Shannon, Army Hammer, and Michael Sheen. Based in Los Angeles, Adams plays a successful art gallery owner who is shaken reading the manuscript of a fictional violent thriller novel from her first husband, which she interprets as a real-life revenge story. If you can get through the weird beginning to this film, you'll find this story within a story to be quite entertaining with its twists and turns. Kingdom is a South Korean horror thriller with zombies that many people claim is better than The Walking Dead. Set in a fictional medieval era, this Netflix original series explores the story of a crown prince as he investigates the rising of a deceased king and the source of a mysterious plague ravaging his country. Facing a new kind of enemy, the prince must unveil the evil scheme to help save his people. 
This is not your typical zombie series. It actually has an original storyline that should even be of interest to those of you that have grown tired of the zombie-focused TV shows, movies, and video games over the past decade. Two seasons of Kingdom are available now, along with a one-off special. There's been no official word yet regarding a third season. Documentary Now is a mockumentary series created by former Saturday Night Live castmates Bill Hader, Fred Armisen, and Seth Meyers, along with an SNL producer, Rice Thomas. Premiering in 2015 on IFC, Hader and Armisen appear in many of the episodes and is hosted by Helen Mirren. Done in various documentary film styles, the series parodies other documentaries, including The Thin Blue Line, Wild Wild Country, Grey Gardens, and many others. It's smartly written and features well-known guest stars, including Owen Wilson, Michael C. Hall, Peter Fonda, and Jack Black. Three seasons are on Netflix right now and has been renewed for a fourth season. Based on a true story, Rush is a biographical sports film centered on the rivalry between two Formula One drivers, the British James Hunt, played by Chris Hemsworth, and the Austrian Niki Lauda, played by Daniel Bruhl. Directed by Ron Howard, this underseen film takes place in the 1970s as Hunt and Lauda push themselves to the breaking point of both physical and mental endurance as they fight for F1 supremacy. The cinematography is breathtaking, with race scenes that are absolutely amazing. Whether you're a race fan or not, Rush is a must-watch. Godless is an American Western drama created, written, and directed by Scott Frank. Set in 1884, the seven-episode Netflix original miniseries is about a young injured outlaw, Roy Good, played by Jack O'Connell, who's on the run from his vengeful mentor, played by Jeff Daniels. Roy, while being chased, ends up hiding out in a small New Mexico town populated almost entirely by women. If you're a fan of westerns, you'll find the acting and writing to be great with beautiful cinematography. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you to find a new TV show or movie to watch, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What is your favorite hidden gem on Netflix? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on our latest top 10s and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.